a dry joints and nothing worse than a dry joint so here is a um, slightly broken Tom Shine uh, 7 watt uh, lamp now this lamp has two 18650s inside of it how do I know because I've been there before um, when I first received it it didn't work uh, very well um, and it has a little switch on the top of it a little hooky doodah um, and it has a little charge port here you should be able to plug a solar panel into it or plug it into uh, a wall socket and charge it up now for whatever reason it's all stopped working as I did mention uh, when it came through the post uh, originally uh, purchased from eBay it didn't work then either so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pop this bad boy apart you can actually screw this lamp into a 240 volt uh, socket and uh, a standard sort of bayonet cap type uh, light <clears throat> sorry not bayonet cap that's an Edison screw a standard Edison screw type uh, uh, type scenario um, right uh, thankfully I don't have a spudger so I'm just gonna have to uh, gonna have to see see what happens here see if we can't pull this thing apart come on uh, you might find you may find that I uh, accelerate this uh, <laughs> this video And here are the batteries. So yeah, these are the two 18650s that I put in there because the 18650s that originally came out of this were absolutely useless. So the question on everybody's minds is, why does this no longer work? Right, okay, so hopefully we'll be able to answer that. I might need to go away and get my multimeter, my multimeter, uh, on a aluminium uh, plate and the aluminium I'm guessing is to do a little bit of heat uh, dissipation and uh, so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen LEDs uh, on this plate and uh, it is actually quite bright um, annoyingly it's um, it's a, a blue light, uh, sort of a, a, a very bright white blue uh, end of the spectrum as opposed to a nice uh, orange end of the spectrum which, uh, which is a little more pleasing to the eye. I prefer the, uh, the orange end of the spectrum. So, uh, okay, let's, let's get a multimeter, have a look at these batteries, see if the batteries are charged. Um, and uh, if not, we'll charge them up, plug them in. I did notice that the cable that I have out there uh, didn't work very well. Uh, you had to put a bit of pressure on it in one direction in order to get the charge LED to come on. So um, it's quite possible that the, uh, that the connector uh, isn't, uh, isn't working or has been bent or something's happened to it. So. Uh, yeah, and even if all else fails, I'm sure we'll be able to rehouse this and make use of it in another project. Uh, oh, the other thing that I, I neglected to mention, it actually has a uh, an output here as well for charging a phone. So, um, right, <clears throat> let's get a multimeter and see if we can figure out what's wrong with this bad boy. Multimeter. So, let's have a look and see if we're getting much in the way of voltage out of these batteries. 0.4 volts. Okay, so it looks as though this might just be a case that these batteries um, aren't very good. All right, okay, well, uh, we'll put them on charge and we'll check them out and see how we do. All right, so here are the two batteries from the Tom Shine light. Um, four and a bit volts, 430 milliamps gone in, 23 minutes worth of charge time. Uh, yeah, let's let's see how this works out. I'm, 
Okay, so here we are back with the uh, Tom Shine uh, solar rechargeable lamp. And um, I've plugged in the batteries. Uh, so now what we've got to do is screw on the, uh, the top cap here. And then, maybe, yeah. Oh, oh hello. Sorry if that's washing the camera out. Okay. So, um, the batteries took about 800 or so milliamps, milliamps. Everything back together, plug it in to, uh, to a charger. But uh, it does look as though uh, the batteries um, just needed a little bit of attention. Uh, I think the solar panel out there hasn't been charging them the batteries. I think possibly there's a quiescent current on the uh, battery management board which has just brought those batteries down to a voltage level that means that when you plug it in and try and charge it the battery management board no longer detects the uh, the, the the batteries are there um, so therefore it doesn't bother trying to charge I reckon at this point if I plugged a charger into that I think the LED would light now and it would actually start to charge those batteries again. I'm gonna try that. Um, and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this light in the house, on charge, and uh, uh, just take it out to the shed when I need it. Okay, cool. So here's one of my charges. Um, do, do, do. Plug it in, turn on the charger. We have blue LEDs. We should also have an LED uh, lighting right there, but we're not. So the charge circuit inside Mr. Tom Shine looks as though it may have given up the ghost. Well, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? I wonder if the output is uh, uh, driving. Okay, well. Do, do, do. So, plug that into there. And if we plug that into there. Yeah, that's now on charge. So, ah, and we've got the blue LED on here now. So it's, it's, it's working that way around, okay. All right, okay, let's just see if that's woken things up. And here we go. Okay. No, no, it's a shame, isn't it? We've got power coming out. That's a shame. Okay, good news people. So, uh, as you do, you start looking into these things a little bit. Apologies for the uh, shakiness. And um, so what I did is I plugged a, a, a cable uh, into the connector and I had a look at the connector and, and everything's wiggling around. And as you can see here, hopefully you can see there, we have some uh, dry joints. And nothing worse than a dry joint. So, um, we're gonna go ahead, uh, get the uh, micro soldering iron out, and with a little bit of luck, um, we're gonna take care of this problem with Mr. Tom Shine. So, uh, yeah, cool. Okay, um, so for those of you that haven't seen it, this is the uh, silver line um, soldering iron. Uh, heats up really, really rather quickly, as you can see. A little smoke coming off of it right now. It's powered by five volts. Uh, needs, uh, I think, uh, a couple of amps. Uh, it's got a very, very fine little tip on it. And uh, with a bit of luck, we should be able to go ahead and take care of the uh, the solder joints down in here. Yeah, okay. Well, let's give her a try. Uh, let's just uh, 
unplug this soldering iron get that out of the way and let's plug mr. Tom shine in and see if we get uh, yes now you can see we've got a blue flashing light just there she's on charge we fixed her awesome awesome reassemble and we will have a working Tom shine thumbs up subscribe all right good news everybody and here is Tom shine plugged into its uh, a solar panel and uh, she's back up and running all working again happy days good work